friends this is rk sharma from iit shore we are going to study question number 3.383 from irodo a slightly divergent beam of non relativistic charged particles accelerated by a potential difference v propagates from a point a along the axis of a straight solenoid the beam is brought into focus at distance l from the point a at two successive values of magnetic induction b1 and b2 find the specific charge q upon m for the particle here this is velocity along which particle enters so this angle is theta so we take its component v0 cos theta and v0 sin theta here solenoid is shown whose length is l so now we know that kinetic energy of a particle which has charge q and potential if it is accelerated through potential difference v then qv equal to half mv0 square where v0 is the velocity which gives v0 equal to square root of 2 q capital v divided by m now we know that pitch equal to horizontal component of the velocity v0 cos theta multiplied by time period so we write it as delta x equal to v0 cos theta times 2 pi m divided by qb because time period of helical path will be of circular path will be 2 pi m into qb if theta is small then cos theta will be taken as 1 so this value will be delta x equal to v0 times 2 pi m divided by qb now let number of turns of helical paths for the two fields are n and n plus 1 then l equal to n times delta x1 which is equal to n plus 1 times delta x2 or l equal to n times in place of delta x1 we put the value v0 times 2 pi m divided by qv1 equal to n plus 1 times 2 pi m v0 divided by qv2 or we find lq divided by 2 pi m v0 which is equal to n upon v1 equal to n plus 1 upon v2 or n equal to lq v1 divided by 2 pi m v0 and n plus 1 equal to lq v2 divided by 2 pi m v0 which further simplifies to lq v1 divided by 2 pi m v0 plus 1 equal to l q b2 divided by 2 pi m v0 now we further simplify so we get l q divided by 2 pi m v0 times b2 minus b1 equal to 1 or q upon m equal to 2 pi m 2 pi v0 divided by l times b2 minus b1 here we put the value of v0 which we have obtained as v0 equal to square root of 2 q capital v divided by m so q upon m equal to 2 pi l times v2 minus v1 times square root of 2 q capital v divided by m v square both sides so we get q square upon m square equal to 4 pi square divided by l square times v2 minus v1 whole square multiplied by 2 q v divided by m 1 q upon m will cancel out from both the sides and v will be left with q upon m equal to 8 pi square capital v divided by l square times b2 minus v1 whole square which is our required answer thank you